Hey folks, we're up here today and we're going to be talking about the browning buckmark. In this case, what we have is a browning buckmark with the Tactical Solutions uh, barrel, which is set up so you can add a suppressor. I'm not going to unscrew this uh, compensator, but all the way, but you can see here that you can screw a suppressor on, so if you go through the uh, process of getting your tax stamp and going through the process of legally owning a suppressor for those of you who are in states where you can do that. It does take a number of months, uh, but certainly suppressors are a lot of fun and they're very nice for shooting because they obviously suppress the sound. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to shoot this uh, particular gun, which belongs to my good friend Jim. Uh, Jim has been kind enough to loan me a number of his firearms over the last six to eight months, and many of the firearms that you've seen on the channel um, are Jim. Jim is a collector and owns a number of excellent guns. And we were visiting yesterday, and I said, gee, I'd really like to shoot uh, your buckmark. I brought my own uh, buckmark, which I think you've seen me shoot in the past, and we'll shoot that in just a minute as well as a comparison, really looking at whether or not the compensator makes a significant difference. Given the fact that these are 22s, a very low caliber round, uh, I don't think you're going to see a significant difference, but I might be able to feel it, so we're going to check that out. First thing that we're going to do is from approximately uh, seven yards here, we've got some targets out there. I'm not familiar with this gun. I've not shot Jim's uh, buckmark before, so what I'm going to do is actually fire a number of rounds through it. I'm going to start with some federal ammunition. This is high velocity ammo that is available commonly through big box stores like Walmart, uh, 550 rounds for 20 bucks or something. So I'm going to shoot some of that, shoot uh, two or three magazines with that, get a feel for it. Then I also brought some standard CCI velocity and uh, ammo, which I've found to be very effective in terms of uh, a, a good target load if, if you want to, to shoot that uh, through your gun. A little bit more expensive, but certainly um, valuable in terms of its accuracy. So let's fire this thing up and take a look at uh, how it's hitting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, again, we're at seven yards, I've got a target out there. Just going to go ahead and slow fire and get a sense of where the gun is hitting. And then we'll talk about the impressions of the gun um, as we go forward. Feels like a, a browning buck mark. What's there to say? Um, that was relatively rapid fire, just trying to get a feeling for the trigger. I'm going to do this a few more times, and then um, we'll see if we can shoot some uh, some accuracy uh, drills through it. But right now, I'm just trying to get a sense of the of the trigger and where it's hitting. So bear with me. We'll do this a few more times. I'll move the camera just so you can see a different perspective of the gun and how it's reacting. Again, this is the Federal High Velocity Value Pack ammunition, and uh, it is a high velocity round. So now from a different angle, again, we're just uh, firing the gun to get a sense of where it's hitting. One of the things that I am noticing, and my friend Jim said this, is when he put on this Tactical Solutions barrel. He noticed that the point of impact was actually uh, higher. We've got the sights cranked down all the way back. Um, and while the grouping is good, it is high to the point of aim. So Jim said he's probably going to have to replace that front sight with this particular barrel. So we're going to do uh, another string and then we'll do one string from the same position with my browning uh, buckmark, the target set up and uh, see if you see any difference in the recoil given that we're using this 
device up here, which is a compensator. Well, we've seen uh, this gun before. I've shot it a number of times in YouTube videos, and um, I really like this. It was a gift from my wife a number of years ago, one of the nice Christmases, Christmas gifts she ever gave me. So we'll see if we can see any more difference in the compensation of the recoil given the Now there's a lot less stuff going on in terms of it's a much heavier barrel than the other one so that's going to change some of the way the gun is behaving. Um, that Tactical Solutions barrel is extremely light. It is fluted. It does not have the weight uh, that this one has so it's a little easier from my standpoint shooting it just because the gun, um, the muzzle flip is, is uh, less and the weight of the gun is such that I have uh, much more control up front. Again, these are 22's low recoiling rounds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot some standard velocity ammunition through the uh, Tactical Solutions barrel and give you a feel and a perspective on that. Okay, so now what we have is we have the uh, Browning with the Tactical Solutions barrel and we're shooting standard velocity, CCI standard velocity ammunition through it. And I can tell you from our grouping, it's grouping a little bit better with the uh, standard velocity ammunition. Certainly from a recoil standpoint, I'm really not noticing any difference. One thing I do note is because this is uh, porting is allowing the gas and whatnot to bleed off a little bit, I am seeing more smoke, um, which is not terribly distracting, but it is different than what I'm used to seeing when I shoot my Browning that does not have that kind of compensator on it. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put up some uh, targets to destroy a little bit and um, things like uh, eggs and soda cans and um, clay pigeons. Uh, and then we'll zoom in and um, have some fun knocking those things down. Right here you're seeing the uh, standard velocity ammunition and you can see what I was talking about in terms of the point of aim. Now it's shooting a little bit to the right for me, but again, this is not my gun. Um, so the grouping is there, but it is high. And so I think Jim is correct that he will have to adjust the sight, ultimately uh, replace that front sight so he can get the hits down more to the center of the target. But again, uh, we're at a good seven yards, maybe even eight yards away. And you can see there's a really nice grouping there. So Brownings are capable of excellent uh, accuracy particularly when you find the right ammunition for them. Anything? Anything? Okay, what we have out there are a couple of uh, cans of soda. We've got some uh, targets, some clay pigeons, and a couple of eggs. So we'll see if we can uh, hit anything. Oh, there goes an egg. And there goes a can of soda. And it looks like we're taking out that guy pretty well. Move over here and see if we can hit the other egg. Oh, looks like we did. Nice, nice, nice. A couple more eggs over here. There's an egg and a can of soda. Again, we're about uh, seven, maybe eight yards away from the uh, from the targets here, shooting the browning. Oh boy, that was fun! I have to say, it really was. Okay, we're gonna have some more fun. We've got our clay pigeons out there. See if we can hit those. Oh, that was fun. 
reactive targets, gotta love them. There is a slight difference. Modest, but slight. It's fun to shoot either way. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You have two um, Browning pistols. The Buckmark, this is my target model. And then my buddy's Buckmark, set up with the Tactical um, Solutions barrel and compensator up here. These are just a great pistol. If you're looking for an exceptionally um, accurate and fun pistol to shoot. The Browning Buckmarks are very, very hard to beat and they're just a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. We've had excellent results in terms of the number of subscribers we had and the number of views. We, I think we're up a, over 120,000 views now and something like 450 subscribers or something. So I want to thank you all very, very much for watching the channel and just uh, sharing your thoughts and ideas. We've had a lot of great comments from people and actually um, education. Certainly they're educating me. I'm learning stuff and um, they're passing their information and their uh, expertise on to uh, the viewers. So I want to thank everybody again. It's, it's so much fun uh, making these videos and it's so much fun having folks like you that uh, actually take the time to watch them. So thanks so much and as always, stay safe.